So this is an ant. Alright, I snipped its head off, as you can tell. So I'll pop up, make it clear. Maybe not, but clearly, I snipped its head off last night. And it's still moving. And now, if I know correctly, I don't think these ants, well, this is an ant. I don't know if I said it, but I don't think ants have muscles. I think it's just an outer structure, extra, or what do they call that? No, exoskeleton, pretty much. And it's just weird because, you know, it's still moving. And it's been, what, 12 hours almost? And I don't understand how that's even possible. Look at that. Like, I'm pretty sure ants don't have legs, or I mean muscles, but, you know, it's still weird. I'm going to get a little tweezer thing or something like that. But, I mean, look at it. So, look at it. Headless ant, and it's still alive. Now, I don't know if it's maybe its brain or something. So if if an ant can survive without a head. For like 12 hours, and how come they can't survive um, in like water or something? Because that's just weird. Clearly, it needs uh, air to breathe, but I mean, drowning in water, what's different? I mean, look at that. It's like fully opening its body and everything. I don't understand. I have no idea how that's how the science behind it works. Like they instantly die in water, but you need a head to breathe because that's you know your mouth, and yet you snip its head off and it's still alive. I mean, fully kicking and everything, as you can see. And this is 12 hours later after I snipped its head off. It was crawling on my couch and it's a pretty large ant. I mean, so we can zoom out a little bit. I don't know why it's so blurry. But like that's literally my finger. And it'd be longer if it had a head. I don't understand, but I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna check it maybe later tonight see if it's still kicking. But you know I'm just surprised that twelve hours later and it's still kicking and squirming and stuff like that.